Thank you very much for a truly entertaining talk tonight. I, I honestly mean that, and I'm, I'm not being uh, patronising or, or anything as a, as a man. Um, look, your Tony Abbott T-shirts were a hit. They're, they're your Tony Abbott T-shirts? They are. I can uh, see where this question is going. OK. Um, but <laughs> I think what, we've run into each other before. <laughs> I, what should women make of that other Canberra Polly who apparently dumped his wife for another woman uh, and who has reportedly been subject to rumours about infidelities and uh, apparently rape. Do you feel another T-shirt coming on for that guy? Well, I certainly would never produce a T-shirt that accuses someone of rape without it being confirmed, well, because I don't have any money. F that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, F, F that guy. I don't know who you're talking about, though, and I am inclined to believe women when they report stories of sexual violence, so I'm watching this situation with a lot of interest. Um, I wasn't really hugely in support of that appointment anyway, and um, I think that infidelity doesn't really bother me because I think that what happens in people's private lives we can never really have a lot of insight into and we also don't know the circumstances under which a relationship is negotiated or formed. Um, so I think that, I mean, who knows? Like, people could be... Look, for anyone who's watched House of Cards, people can enter into very politically expedient relationships with each other where they are truly a partnership but they're not necessarily a romantic partnership. So that doesn't really interest me so much. But uh, were those allegations proven to be true, then I would definitely look at taking it up. I'm just in, in, intrigued at why you pick on one guy and not the other guy. That's